They say distance lends enchantment to the view. Well, it doesn't get more enchanting than this. Rather puts our problems into perspective, doesn't it? Without the view from up here, life is somehow two-dimensional. On our long voyage, we have observed life come and go on countless alien worlds. But we can't enjoy this view forever. Our time is running out. We have more worlds to watch, more civilizations to survey. So we continue our study of Section 806, a sparse bit of space in the second spiral. More than 7,000 stars here, but not even a hundred of them support life. Our next subject is this G2 class main sequence star. It's very young, but around it we find more than a hundred planets and moons. And just one that supports multicellular life. telluric world, completely covered in liquid ocean. This is 806-4616-0110. It almost looks like home, doesn't it? But looks can be deceiving. Our satellite survey reveals an unremarkable planet, slightly larger than our own, with a greater relative mass, typical inclination, baroclinic weather system. We watched this water world for more than 600 orbits of its own star and received no indication of advanced life on the surface. But we were wrong to decommission the survey so soon. Electromagnetic transmissions, crude ones, simple modulated long waves, but signals only a technological civilization can create. At first we received only sound waves, but soon images were being broadcast too. Finally, our first glimpse of alien life. We find evidence of sentient life forms on the planetary surface. Almost immediately we witnessed two heterotrophic quadrupeds locked in battle. Some species seem to have evolved exothermic abilities. A violent world, like so many others of course. But we soon realized we had made a mistake in our observations. Our satellite is repositioned. There is more to this world than we first thought. It's a planet with both a hydrosphere and a lithosphere. The transmissions begin increasing exponentially, revealing a world of multicellular life forms communicating in many modes. The languages are all linear, very easy for us to decipher. In the most commonly spoken language, the inhabitants of this planet call it Di Chao. In their second language, they call it La Tierra. And in their third language, they call it Earth. Our satellite continues to sort vast quantities of data. At least one advanced life form is reaching out into the emptiness of space. We now begin our survey of this world. What is the advanced species on this planet? How can their perspective deepen our own? This is 806-4616-0110 in its own electromagnetic transmissions.